Organize your charts in studies and template studies. In previous videos, I showed you how to open and configure a chart. In this video, I'd like to show you how to save and organize your charts in your platform files in order to optimize the use of the platform according to your needs. There are three different types of files on NanoTrader. First of all, the study, then the template study, and the stub file. A study is a combination of historical data, of aggregations, indicators, filters and stops, and so forth. That's to say all the tools that you need to analyze the market and use this anal analysis according to your approach, your trading strategy. For our video, I have created such a study in which I have loaded historical data. I am using one minute candles in Heiken Ashi. I have inserted a click stop and click target, Bollinger Bands, a flat filter from six to midnight, and the Meta Sentimental. To save my study, I click on the little diskette up at the top left hand side of the platform and as you can see there are several options the first one is save study in this case i'll overwrite the existing study that i have modified and i will keep its name in this case trade guard another option is to save the study under another name by using save study as so i will do this right now so now we, our study was called Trade Guard. We are now going to call it My Study and save it. As you can see, the name of my chart has now been modified. You can see it also up here and right at the top in the platform. In the workspace bar, under mini dax march as this is the contract we are currently using my study has appeared this study however is only available under the mini dax march 17. it's not available under any other expirations of the same contract or under any other symbol however frequently a trader would like to apply the same study to later exp uh, expirations or to other securities. Therefore, a given study can be saved as a so-called template study. When clicking on save as template study, a different window will appear. This is a window directly on your C drive. I will call this template study my template study. and save it. Now the template study is available for any symbol, any product available in your workspace bar. For instance, if I go to the Eurostocks and choose, choose the Eurostocks uh, March, I can simply do a right click on the contract and in template studies, I can find my template study by si clicking simply once left on the name of the study it will automatically open so using the same indicators stops aggregation and historical data but now on the Eurostocks March when you first open a template study for a symbol the template is copied you might then change, change the settings, add indicators and save the study. The next time you open that study, the modified study for that symbol will be used. So as you can see, now the white symbol has appeared under the Eurostocks March and my template study is now available here. If I were to change anything in the study and save it via save study, 
my template study under Eurostocks would be saved with the modifications without altering the template study itself. The last option in our list is save as stub. Saving a study as stub is similar to saving it as a template study. However, it will show up below every symbol in the workspace bar. This will give you a fast access to your favorite templates without going through the context menu of template studies. I'll show you how it works. So I click on save as stub and I will call the file my stub study and save. Now, no matter which contract I go to in my workspace bar, you'll see that my stub study has appeared. As previously explained, the templates and studies uh, appear with a yellow icon until you actually open them for this symbol. In that case, they'll become white.